What's up guys, it's JPZ here with a video talking about Discord, specifically about voice activation levels and trying to not annoy your teammates. You don't want to sound like this. Set nickname. Demon. So whenever you change it again, I know what the hell I'm, I'm, who the hell I'm inviting. Then so you need to adjust your uh, sensitivity in Discord again. What's that? Trying to get rid of that type of background is the goal of what I'm trying to do here. So first, we're going to go down to the bottom left hand corner, find out where your little name is here. Three icons over is a little gear called user settings. Go into that and go into uh, third little section down app settings, voice and video. These are my settings by default that this is turned on. And what this does here automatically determine input settings. You want to make sure that's turned off. So, because what this does is it makes your mic super sensitive and you're going to pick up any type of background noise that comes in contact with your microphone. So you want to make sure you set that up manually. So, uncheck that box and it's going to be somewhere in the 50 range. You'll see this little input meter as I talk. It makes the bar move back and forth. That's the input sound. So, if I was to put it, say, over here in like the 70s or 80s, Unless it's dead silent, the mic would constantly be on. Any type of noise, type in, would trigger it. So this is far too far over. So let's move that over. And then start typing until it doesn't trigger. That's my main thing. Also test other background noises like coughing or whatever no noises you think would be able to trigger your microphone. Now this isn't bad for the typing scenario. So now let's text your talking. You want to make sure in the middle of your sentence is not cutting you off. Here you see it's a little bit too far over and it's going to cut me off here. So I'm going to keep moving it over here. I'll be 55. So it's triggering my, my, my audio, but it's not going to cut me off in the middle of conversation. And also want to make sure the background doesn't trigger either. Even when I'm spamming doesn't trigger. So around that area is probably a little bit good. Although my keyboard backgrounds are pretty close. I should probably take it over two more. And now it's good. Even with my, my small one yelling in the background, it still didn't trigger the microphone. That's kind of the goal you're trying to test. This is actually pretty perfect uh, timing with, with her yelling in the background in order to check your microphone settings, being able to make sure that you're not bothering your teammates and they be able to give clear call outs and communication. Hope this was helpful. If you want to see more videos like this or other of my longer form guides, hit that subscribe button. You can see my videos go live. As always, my name is JPZ. Take it easy.